It's been dubbed the ugly cloak alert and now Checkpoint can reveal that it's not the first time New Zealand golf has been criticised for using what it calls a kurawai. The cape that's been described as some by some as a couch rug was thrown over the shoulders of the New Zealand Golf Open winner at the Hills over the weekend. The problem is New Zealand golf calls the garment a kurawai. Others do not. New Zealand golf CEO Dean Murphy has declined to answer our questions about where the garment comes from and what it's made of. He's also declined to be interviewed. But it's not the first time that the Cape New Zealand Golf calls a kurawai has attracted criticism. Ata Te Kanawa comes from a family of noted weavers. She says she alerted New Zealand Golf to the fact that the dodgy kurawai they were using in ceremonies a few years back was not the real thing. I've lived with the laborious task of extracting the mukha. I mean, it takes absolute months to do. Then you're dyeing the mukha, then you're applying the feathers. And um, so that's in stark contrast to popping down to spotlight, getting a 1.5 metres of um, faux fur, um, putting a satin backing on it. <laughs> Um, etc. So we, I really, and I know a, a lot of others with me, have issues with with um, what we've called or, or termed um, ugly cloak alert. So it's not the first time. Um, New Zealand Defence Force a few years ago, we had to go at them as well. Um, so it's just, it's just kind of, it just doesn't sit well. And you know, last night I had the opportunity to. Um, communicate with Sir Michael Hill about it because I thought, gee, he's kind of in the mix by default. Yeah, because the, the Open that, happens at his golf course, yeah. That's right, that's right. But he is a man that values Tonga and he, he certainly acknowledges that he values uh, Tonga Māori. He's an art collector, of course. And uh, so what I asked, was he aware? He, he, he told me that he just assumed the winner of the New Zealand Golf Champs would adorn something of quality, as, as I'm sure we all would, just assume that would be uh, a matter of course. So, um, What do you yes, take that wasn't. to mean, Atta? What do you take that to mean, that it wasn't quality that was bestowed upon oh, this definitely winner? definitely wasn't quality. Definitely wasn't quality. Absolutely no arguments there. I mean, I don't think you even have to be a weaver to, to um, make that assertion. Just looking at it, you can actually see the satin backing. You can see that it's faux fur. So, um, yeah, no, I don't have any hesitation at all in saying... So how long ago did you complain? Because I just want to establish how long New Zealand golf may have known that um, people in the weaving community were not happy with the description of this as a kurawai. I, I think it may be two to three years ago possibly longer. I, I'm fairly confident New Zealand Herald did a story on it as well because I was, I was called and asked, are these feathers genuine? Do you think these feathers are genuine? And um, if it's the same cloak, and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident it is, then I did write to them and just to let them know that, you know, if they would believe that it was a, a cloak of quality and authenticity, authenticity, then they needed to be corrected. It definitely isn't. Yeah, so they've known for a while, they've been put on notice that the the item that they were using was not up to scratch. Oh, yeah, without doubt. They've been aware of it. But then, you know, like, oh, I've got to say, because this is, this is all about raising the awareness and making people, and, you know, the opportunity it gives us is that people start talking about what is authentic, what is quality, what isn't. So they don't know what they don't know. And if they were told, and we don't know this part, the backstory, if they were told that it was authentic, then they maybe just accepted it was. So who's making these ugly capes then? Uh, that's the other thing. I mean, it's easy in this sort of um, environment, this controversy when, when things like this are raised, that it becomes a Pākehā Māori thing. This is not a Pākehā Māori thing, actually. The awareness that we want to raise is for everybody, including Māori. Māori are making these as well. 
So New Zealand Golf has got back to us today and I just want to read what they have said um, to you. They say that we certainly don't wish to cause any offence but rather only to respect and honour our unique and special New Zealand culture. We will review these aspects of the presentation ceremony ahead of next year's tournament. What would you like them to do? Oh, I think that's a great win. I think that that's a great step forward in any other organisation thinking or considering going down this track. If one person out there just says, wait, do we know it's a kōrawai? Do we really know it's a kōrawai? Then that's great. Then, you know, and then, you know that, that's a good outcome. You know, rather than judging an ugly uh, satin back fur, faux fur, Go to the museum, have a look at some stunning kōrawai and, and just imagine how much work's gone into it. Do you think, Utter, that Michael Hill can help encourage New Zealand golf to do something more about this? I, I dare say he will. He, I mean, he's a man that works in Tonga himself. Jewelry is Tonga. He's got, a, he's got an inherent um, appreciation of Tonga, including Māori Tonga. And uh, I felt very comfortable and confident that he would be a good advocate for quality. He is already. <laughs> do you, so do you think his toes turned up a little bit when he saw that as well? I, I don't think he was impressed, um, put it that way.